If you're having problems with your balance, your doctor may send you to experience some sort of balance testing. This can be done in many different ways, sometimes by examining how you stand or walk in different conditions. Other times we use more formalized testing. This test is called Computerized Dynamic Posturography, or CDP. We use this test to precisely measure your balance by using a set of force plates that can measure your sway and your balance function. We're also looking to see how well you do in different conditions, such as when you use your vision, your inner ears, or your sense of touch, or perhaps a combination of those pieces. What you'll want to do for this test is to maintain good balance and try to keep your balance through these various different conditions. I have my colleague Sarah here to help show what this test could look like as a patient coming in to have this test completed. All our patients come in, we have them set with a harness and attach them to our equipment in order to keep them safe. If there are any concerns about falling, the equipment will help to stabilize and the examiner also has the ability to maintain your balance for you. So Sarah, I'll have you step in. And Sarah will be facing away towards the tunnel and attached to the equipment so that she's secure. Her feet are lined up on our force plates and then we're able to measure how much her balance changes over different conditions. The first one is very simple. We're just measuring how well she does as she's standing with her eyes open without any sort of additional cues. The second component of this test is to evaluate how well she can stand with her eyes closed. That's again a very simple measure, but one that can be a little bit harder. We do make these a little bit more difficult as we go with the more exciting conditions starting after this. In our third condition, Sarah's eyes are open, but as she moves, the visual surround will also move with her. It's her job to keep it stable and keep it balanced. This can be very difficult if a patient has a, a difficulty with maintaining balance in busy visual environments, or if they're very used to using their eyes to maintain their balance. This test is giving them some abnormal visual cues that can lead them to have more balance problems. From there, we do want to make this a little bit more challenging by introducing some variations in the floor. Many times patients do have difficulty maintaining their balance when there's an unstable surface. The force plate is actually unstable and can tip back and forth in terms with Sarah's balance. So she has complete control over trying to maintain the balance and keeping the floor stable. This can be very difficult for patients, particularly those who have challenges with peripheral neuropathy, diabetes, or any other sensory disorders that affect the lower limbs. We'll then repeat that condition with eyes closed, which again is a very difficult condition for those with sensory deficits, but also if your inner ear isn't working as well. The final condition is a culmination of all of these components. In this condition, Sarah's eyes are open again, but now the floor and the visual surround are unstable. This requires her to use all of her sensory information to suppress both the abnormal visual and somatosensory or floor information to keep her balance. Her job is to keep everything as still as possible. It's very common for you to feel unsteady, uneasy, maybe a little bit nauseous. We expect that that's going to happen in most patients, even for those who have normal balance function and no sense of dizziness. This is a very unnerving sort of test. It's meant to make you feel uneasy, and I think it does a pretty good job. This data helps us to help manage your rehabilitation plan, to coordinate with your physical therapist and your providers in knowing where your dizziness and balance problems could be coming from.